I don't think so. I think he was a screwy uncle in the sense that he had eccentric and interesting opinions, but I think he's so admirable. Like, you know, you have a choice of being a bullshit artist or an artist. The bullshit artist usually makes out. Look at people like, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Jeff Koons, you know, or, or uh, Damien Hirst. This is all about having a good rap and a good rep uh, and being able to like parlay that. Koons had been on the, a Wall Street worker before he became an artiste. This guy believed that art was what people are alive to do. So when I say he's a painter, it's like he's saying he's a breather. He, he lives what he's doing. And I found that so estimable. He took a, not a vow of poverty, but he lived simply, wasn't interested in fame per se. He wanted people to see his pictures, but he didn't necessarily want them to be part of grandiose transactions. Uh, what he wanted to do was have a silo and a lending library. So you could borrow a painting, bring it home. When you finished, you'd bring it back and have another painting to live with for a while. And he was surprised when other artists didn't say, that's a great idea, let's all do it. It was, but I don't think that's crazy, or if it is, it's in a good way.